Hello, in this video I'm going to show you a few ways to correct uh, Windows 10 temporary profile issues where you're logged into a profile that, well, just isn't your own, right? Temporary profile, all the settings are at their default. Um, first thing I just want to mention is that your files, your documents, your pictures and everything are still on your computer. Okay, I'm going to show you what I mean by that before I get to the fix. So if you click on the file explorer down here on the taskbar and if we go to you know this pc here and into the system drive go into the users folder okay now here are a couple of the folders created for the temporary profile but this is the actual um, original user uh, profile folder right and if we jump in there uh, you know, all of the documents are here, right? So there's all the documents, all right? So your stuff is still on your computer. It's just that the profile you're in isn't pointing to them anymore. So just so you don't panic, all right? So now let's get to a fix here. So click on your start button and type in reg edit. You know, even if REG will get you to uh, the registry editor uh, option here, and we want to right click on that and say run as administrator and you want to say yes to the user account control prompt okay and then i'm going to show you from the start here uh, where you want to go so you'll probably see a list like this right uh, keep in mind that you can adjust the width of the left hand column by dragging the bar okay We'll need a bit of room, so I'm pulling it over to the right. So expand the H key, local machine key, okay? And you want to then go to software and expand that. You expand by clicking on the little arrow to the left, right? And then you're going to go down to Microsoft. You're going to make sure Microsoft is expanded, all right? And then similarly, go all the way down to Windows NT, expand Windows NT and then expand to current version. Okay, these are already expanded on my system. And then you're going down to where it says profile list, all right? So you'll see, particularly uh, if you pull this bar over, as I said, because you want to be able to see the full uh, key names here, you'll see probably that one of them has a back extension, all right? So I'm going to give you a few ways to troubleshoot this. The the smaller profile items here, let's say looking at the first and the second and the third one, right? Find the one that has a ref count, okay? So, you know, this one does, this one doesn't, this one doesn't, right? So if you find the one that has a ref count, double click on that and then type in zero and click okay, all right? That may be all you need to do in this area. So I'm going to close this off and then I'm going to recommend that you then run Windows Update. So you're going to click on Start, click on Settings, and understanding that it may have been an update that caused the issue. There are often updates on updates, if you know what I mean. So you want to get any patches that might be available to help fix this whole issue, right? So once you're in here, roll down to the bottom Go to update and security, okay? Just wait for that to come up. When you're in here, make sure that you are actually on the Windows Update tab. Sometimes it opens somewhere else. We'll expand this or maximize this for better view. So let's now, even if it says you're up to date, that's not always true, right? There could be updates since the last check or on top of other things. So let's go ahead and we're gonna check for updates. All right, and uh, well, that's running, I'll just mention what we're going to do here afterwards, after you've checked for updates, let any updates come in, of course, that are present, and then you're going to reboot your machine. If all is well, then the machine will boot normally, your profile will be back, and everything will be good. So this is just the first try. That may not be true. If it's not true, then we're going to go back in and into the reg edit, and we're going to try another trick. So I'm going to pause recording here because this can take a while and we'll get back to things uh, shortly.
Okay, so here we are in the newly rebooted computer and it actually worked. Okay, so that of course is very positive. But I am going to show you again uh, what you can do if it didn't work, another thing that you can try. So we're going to go into HK Local Machine once more. Going to go to Software. Let's pull this to the right. And we're going to go to Microsoft and down to Windows NT. There it is. Okay, and then current version and profile list. Okay, so because it worked, the actual, the BAK, the backup uh, profile has disappeared, okay? Now, if it didn't work, that backup profile should still be there. So what you're going to do is you've got two profile keys that are the same, except one has a dot BAK on it, right? So delete the one that does not have a BAK on it, okay? You can right click and delete that profile, all right? Now, once you've deleted that, then right click and rename the other one by removing from the end the dot BAK, all right? So essentially the backup one is the one is your original profile. And the, the one without the backup is the, without the dot BAK is the temporary profile. So there's a good chance that if you simply delete the one without the back and then rename the other one by taking off the dot BAK and then reboot your computer, you'll be fine, okay? So hopefully that is going to be the case and everything will be clear. If that doesn't work, then you really do have a corrupt profile and you're not going to be able to boot back into it. But as I said, you don't have to panic because all your stuff is still there. It's just that the profile and you know a lot of your customizations in terms of you know how you like your taskbar displayed, your desktop background, that kind of thing is gone, right? 